In the movie Captain America, Steve Rogers was explained why the special serum was given to him to give him the special strength. The scientists explained that for a strong man, he had no power all his life and would not respect it. Whereas Steve Rogers being a weak man would respect and have compassion for the strength. In today's passage, Jesus was told of a story about a steward manager, not because of his value, but because of his wisdom of using money. Wisdom in using money is like the serum can make Christians strong in life as well. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first thing is we must give an account. The parable centers about a dishonest manager. He was going to be fired because he has mismanaged the property of his master. We must know today that one day, both Christian and non-Christian must give an account of the things that God has given us. How we steward our time, our resources, our influence and also our how we behave in life. The second thing I've learned is we must be wise with money. Knowing that he was going to be fired, the manager make friends with the master's debtors by asking them to set an account less than they owed. In doing so, he used his present position and money to prepare him for the next stage of his life. While not approving for his conduct, the master approved of his wisdom with money. Jesus commends the world is wiser and more forward-thinking than Christians today. The third thing I've learned is eternity is aesthetic. Jesus then said we cannot uh, serve money and God at the same time. We should use our resources as for as much good as we can for the glory of God and also for the eternal good for the people around us. As Pharisees are ridiculing Jesus, Jesus warned them that God's standard of judging people in this earth is not about money, but how we can use our money to bring glory to God and also help the people around us. My application today is Jesus teaches us how we can adopt the world wisdom and using our resources with innovation and how we can manage it. But we must focus our, our attention on eternal matters as well. We will be given, we will be accountable for what God has given us one day. So we should make sure that we do things right in God's eye. We cannot follow the value of the world because the world will fade away and all its treasure will fade away. But what we store in heaven will not be slow, stolen or taken away from us. My prayer today is, Lord, thank you for teaching us how to be wise um, with money, not like the world, but to be like Jesus, to use our money and resources to bring glory to you, to you and to the joy to the city. Help us to be influential in the world for the kingdom's sake. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.